What is EBITDA growth and why does it happen? Today we're going to talk about the concept of operating leverage. I'm Arthur Petropoulos, managing partner here at Hillview Partners. We're a middle market, lower middle market, mergers and acquisitions and capital advisory firm helping companies generating a million to $10 million a year in pre-tax profit, sell their companies, or secure capital. The idea of growth of a company in general needs to be deconstructed, if you will, into two elements of it. So you have top-line growth and bottom-line growth are the colloquialisms, but the idea of top-line growth being sales growth, revenue growth, and bottom-line growth being profit growth, or in this case, EBITDA, which is effectively a a proxy for pre-tax earnings of a company. But within that, it's a bit of an oversimplification to think that revenue growth and EBITDA or earnings growth are going to be at the same rate. If you double revenues, the assumption may be that profit will likewise double. But in reality, oftentimes as revenue grows, profit grows at a higher rate or there's margin expansion. The percentage of earnings that represents revenues grows over time. And the concept that supports this is operating leverage. So we wanted to quickly walk through an example of this to represent it because it's a phrase that people hear, it's a phrase that people throw around, but more often than not, as we're speaking with existing clients, prospective clients, they'll say, what exactly is operating leverage? How does this work? How should we visualize this concept? And we want to just give a very kind of high level illustration of this to show how it generally works and how we like to think about it. And so let's take scenario A. Company generates $10 million a year in sales. The cost of goods sold, or to provide, execute, fulfill that work, is $2 million. Therefore, you have a gross profit of the company of $8 million. Now, assume the company has an operating infrastructure. You might see the phrase SG&A for sales general and administrative. It might be just broadly defined as operating expenses. But the idea is that the company has a base of people, services, software, rent, etc., of operating expenses that tend to be fixed for a company of, say, $4 million. So you have $8 million of gross profit. You have $4 million of operating expenses yielding a pre-tax earnings or EBITDA of effectively $4 million. And so in this case, you would say the EBITDA margin is 40%, $4 million of profit on $10 million of revenue. Now, let's take a scenario that revenue doubles. And so you have revenues that go from $10 million to now $20 million. Now, assuming you're selling the same $2 bills for $10, you're going to have $2 of COGS for every $10 of revenue. So in this case, $4 of the cost of goods sold for $20 of revenue, yielding a gross profit of $16 million. Now, presuming in the same situation that it's the same supporting team, the same accountants, the same rent, the same software that you utilize, let's take a very simplified version and say the OPEX or that foundational support still costs $4 million. Now, if you take $16 million of gross profit and you subtract from that the $4 million of operating expenses, you are left with an EBITDA pre-tax profit of $12 million. And so compared to the initial situation of $4 million, you have three times as much of the profit. And so the idea being, or the concept of operating leverage effectively being that as revenue doubles in this case from $10 million to $20 million, the profit triples from $4 million to $12 million of EBITDA. And the idea being operating leverage, that there's utilization of the supporting infrastructure of a business that can support incremental revenues such that the margin or the percentage of revenues that ultimately becomes profit grows as revenue grows. And so in the $4 million case, you had a 40% net or EBITDA margin for the business on $10 million of revenues. In this situation, you've got a 60% net margin or EBITDA margin on $20 million of revenue. And so that's the idea of operating leverage. That's a big part of the fundamentals component of when we are marketing businesses for sale, when we are sourcing capital for businesses. It's the idea that as this business grows, it becomes more profitable, but not in necessarily just a linear fashion, but it becomes more profitable at a growing rate as revenues come in. And if you can make the case for that, as you can with many businesses, it can be very powerful in both the exit process or the securing of capital. And so in any event, that's a thought for today, operating leverage. What does it really mean? It means that as the revenues of a business grow, the EBITDA or the pre-tax profit can grow at a faster rate. The margin expansion takes place such that as revenues double, 
EBITDA or pre-tax earnings does something more than doubling. And we've seen situations where it grows at two and a half times versus doubling of revenues. We've seen situations where it grows five times. But it's defining what are the costs of goods sold, what are the things that are effectively linear or variable that grow basically in a pro rata fashion with revenues. And similarly, what is the operating base that everything trickles through beyond that that you can keep fixed such that the profit margin grows. Well, that's the thought for today. Hope the week's getting off to a good start for everyone. Keep pushing forward. God bless. We'll see you next time.